friend's dad introduced us to pancakes with bacon and eggs and syrup all at once. And it was really, really, really good. <laughs> it's actually a good combination. This episode is brought to you by Bell Campo, Thrive Market, Magic Spoon, Wake Up Foods, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, and Desert Farms. So today we're here with our special guest, Grandpa Gary, and we've been studying genealogy. And so, hi. Hi, Grandpa. Hi, River. Hi, Taryn. It's great to be with you guys on your podcast. I know. We had Grandma over here for Bootsers, so now we need you. Yeah, Yeah, now we got to Oh, nice. So, it's great. Yeah. Mm. We've been studying genealogy, and me and Taryn have been studying Jewish culture, and uh-huh. we know that you um, came, you're, you're a large amount of Jewish. You're like oh, 50, around 50% Jewish? Yes, 50%. Yeah, yeah so you're. So we thought we'd come to you to ask you if there's any like cool stories or uh, cultures or heritage, ancestry stories that, if, yeah. that you have for us. Yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah, so I can tell you that I never knew my heritage. I never knew my real father and my real mother until just about, uh, actually, let's see, about three years ago, I found out who my biological mother was, who gave me birth. And just last year, or let's see, would have been, yeah, would have been last year, I found out who my biological father was. So I never knew them. Because I was, because you, as you know, you know that I was adopted, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So my, the, the parents that adopted me, my, my uh, adopted father, he was Jewish. He was from Poland, but, and yeah. his, his mother was from Poland and his father was from Italy. Uh, oh. But he, he, he kept his mother's name, Greenfield, because his father left uh, abandoned them when he was just a young child and he never met him again. So he, he, he didn't want to take the name of his father, which was Romelia. So he took his mother's name because, you know, she raised him and, and he abandoned them. And then your, your gra- would- what's that? Mm-hmm. My name would be River Vermelia if they hadn't left them. That's right. It would have been Romelia. Kind of. <laughs> uh, it would have been Italian. Yeah. And and then your great grandmother, the man that she that he the woman he married, uh, was from Sicily. Your great grandmother, and she her 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 father and her mother were for, were both from Sicily from Sicily. Uh, but my biological father, I just found out last year, he was uh, Jewish. And what's interesting is that you know the Jewish people were very faithful to stay you know, to marry within their bloodline or to marry within their religion, you know, and, and for them, it's unusual because their bloodline and their religion, you know, are, are the same. I mean, in that you're born Jewish, you know, through a family line, but it's also a religion, which is interesting. Um, but so, so they, they're, you know, that he married outside his faith, though. He's probably the first to do it in, you know, a few thousand years because he was a hundred percent Jewish blood, which meant yeah. there was nothing watered down. But then he chose, he didn't, actually, he didn't marry the person that gave me birth. What was, um, did, so you did Sabbat? Mm. Well, growing up, you know, in order, my, my father was Jewish, but in order to marry, he married a Roman Catholic because she was from Italy. So she wasn't Jewish. She was, Ita- she was Italian, and most Italians are Roman Catholic. So in order for him to marry your great grandmother, he had to agree to allow us to be baptized into the Roman Catholic Church. So your great your great grandfather, he was an agnostic. Do you know what an agnostic is? Uh, no. In the- okay, <laughs> that means that even though you know he was Jewish, he didn't he didn't say that he didn't believe in God. He just didn't really care to know. So he pretty much ignored his heritage, you know, of, of, of religion, his Jewish religion, and uh, just kind of just was never interested in, in knowing God or knowing about the, or, or practicing the Jewish faith. Uh, yeah. So we were raised in, so we used to go to church every Sunday with, with your great grandmother to the Roman Catholic Church, and he would stay home and, you know, work in the yard and just have fun or whatever. And then when we got back, we'd go out in the boat. 
So that was, that was my religious upbringing. So even though I had many Jewish friends because we grew up in a Jewish community, um, it was a mix of Jews and Roman Catholics and Protestants. Uh, yeah, so I didn't have really any, you know, I'd been to temple a few times or the synagogue a few times with friends, but other than that, um, I didn't have any experience, you know, practicing the Jewish faith. But I talked to my blood brother on the phone and he told me that his, the family name was Lauder and they were tailors. So they made, they made clothing and they had clothing stores all over Chicago. And he told me that, that his great, I think it was his grandfather emigrated from a country. They even, he even knew the village, but I can't remember the name of the village right now, but it was somewhere very close to Poland and Ukraine, somewhere in there that, that the Lauder family immigrated to Chicago. And then in Chicago, they, they you know, were tailors and they had men's clothing stores and a, and a men's, and then also a, a, a manufacturing place where they made clothing as well for men. You were Roman Catholic or Jewish? I was half Jewish by blood, but by faith, the, faith, the religion I practiced was the one taught, you know, that my mother, it came from my mother, which was Roman Catholicism. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah. So, kind of an off topic of like ancient genealogy, but like, how did you get to know Grandma Pat, I guess? Like, how'd you guys meet? Oh, well, we met in Moscow, Idaho. We met in 1975. So that would have been 25, 20, about 45 years ago, 40 to 45, about 46 years ago, maybe. And we met when I, I had just moved there and she had moved there to uh, run a summer camp for uh, a church. I knew Mary Lou, your aunt Mary Lou, I guess, would that be your, no, that wouldn't be. Anyways, uh, Pat's sister, her older sister, uh, put her up while she was in Moscow, and I knew uh, Chuck and Mary Lou, and through and they they're the ones who set us up and got us together. We met in Moscow, Idaho, and I was a student, and she was she was also a hairstyling. She was in hairstyling school at the time as well, but she spent the summer as a youth director for a for a Presbyterian camp. Okay, cool. Yeah. Well. I think that's ending on a high note. I think that's about all we have. Okay. Oh, it was really fun. Yeah, thank you. Can't okay, wait. thank you guys. We'll see you soon. Bye. Thank you guys. Thank you. Bye-bye. Right. Love you guys. See ya. This episode is brought to you by Bell Campo, Thrive Market, Magic Spoon, Wake Up Foods, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, and Desert Farms.